EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. We'll see what they'll do here as they're up against a fourth and inches. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. To the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The New York Jets working their way back onto the field. And last year, a 3-2 and two start, very promising start. But then a 2-9 and nine finish the rest of the way. Now, Todd Bowles, Charles, was given the vote of confidence. He'll be back in 2018. And I think it's a good vote of confidence and for the right reasons. Remember, before the season, how many times have we joked that everyone we talked to said the Jets would go 0-16? Yeah. They were very competitive throughout the year. They played hard for Coach Todd Bowles, so that makes sense. But when you look at their offense, everyone wants to talk about the quarterback position. I don't think there's a spot on the offense that they couldn't improve with draft choices and free agency. So that's an offense that needs total retooling. Yeah, so with the high draft pick first round, it's not a given that they're going quarterback. Not a given, but if there's one they like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they're going to go ahead and take him. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. McCown going to hand this one off to Powell. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. third down it's Powell trying to barrel up in there but I don't think he got it no gain there on the play and that's going to leave him with a fourth down another down on the scoreboard but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short yeah I know I know they're on their own side of the uh, field I was gonna say normally I would say punt the ball away but I'm feeling it I say go for it Here's Lachlan Edwards now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. A 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So the football switching hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl. But third MVP this past season and what he did at age 40, really something, right, Charles? Absolutely phenomenal. Ended up beating out Todd Gurley, the running back for the Los Angeles Rams. 
but he would have traded it for a Super Bowl win, don't you think? How about this? The last nine NFL MVPs to play in the Super Bowl that same season, 0-9. Oh, yeah. Going all the way back to Kurt Warner in, what, 1999, where he won the double? We were going over that stat earlier. That is hard to believe. But he would have been the MVP had the Patriots pulled that one out. Yeah, he still has five rings, though, five Super Bowl titles for Brady. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Play fake. Kaiser. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. An excellent pick up at 34 yards. There's so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. down Kaiser toward the center of the field but it's incomplete David Njoku was the intended receiver and that'll bring up second down Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The Browns on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Two minutes to go here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, we'll send you to Orlando and Larry Ridley as he'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. But no touchdowns. These guys need to give Larry some touchdowns to talk about. Things are too easy for him right now back in the studio. Come on, guys. Help the man out. Give him something to talk about. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Working out of the gun. Here's Kaiser. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route. Able to look it in and picks up the first down. throw on first down it's a short one here complete to his tight end and he's brought down the Browns passing game finding its stride they've got another first down that coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man that's good recognition there and how about what he did after the catch yeah hit your tight end let him get some rack yeah when he when he gets moving not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him do they zone now Kaiser and no escaping this time as he'll go down they got him for a sack 
And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver, and it's third down. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was. All the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Come on, let's go. Right on From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Coleman. And it's scooped up by the Jets. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Before the possession switches here, I had written down that I wanted to talk about some of the awards this past season in the NFL. We know Brady was the MVP, but Todd Gurley, Offensive Player of the Year. How about that for a bounce back? Many were questioning whether he'd had a sophomore slump the season before. Didn't even get to 1,000 yards. Was a dominant force in 2017. How about his teammate Aaron Donald yeah. on the defensive side? He took home Defensive Player of the Year award. Yeah, very impressive. They had both sides of the ball. Sean McVay deserving, I think you would agree, of Coach of the Year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what he did for the Rams when they went from last in the league in scoring to leading the league in scoring and winning a division title. And how about the New Orleans Saints? Rookie of the year, offense and defense. Alvin Kamara on offense, Marshawn Lattimore on defense. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Working from the gun, McCown, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. So a ways to go here on third and ten. This is the running back, Powell. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he's on to punt for New York. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Browns offensively getting ready to take the field again. If you take a step back, Charles, last two years for the Browns, one in 31, worst two-year stretch in the 98-year history of the NFL. Everybody knows that story. And the playoff drought at 14 years. Where does this franchise turn? It's one of the great questions because I was on the record last spring that their draft looked about as professional a draft as you could have. Three first-rounders, 
all of them became starters for them. When you think about it, Miles Garrett at defensive end, Jabril Peppers at, at, at uh, defensive back, and David Njoku at tight end. All of them contributed. It looked like they were making progress. They've just simply forgotten how to win as an organization, a franchise, as a team. That's the number one thing. Get a win, get two wins, and maybe they can start to turn this thing around. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Kaiser to throw it. And it's a first down and more for Gordon. Throw left side complete. It's Gordon. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So the offense takes the timeout and they are back out and ready to rock. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Here go. Go. To throw is Kaiser. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Gordon. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Kessler goes off on fourth down, and on comes the Browns kicker, Zane Gonzalez, for the field goal try. On the left hash, officially, it's called a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So a good kick there, and they wrap up the drive by putting three on the board. And you know, let's face it, you're not always going to come away with six. Defense in the NFL are just too good but you've got to come away with something. And there, they get three. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters.